Hey everybody, it's Sears Nada. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon XD Kill Time. In the last part, we got to the Relic Stone and purified our Shadow Pokemon. And in this part, we're going to head to Mount Battle to talk to Vander about where those thugs might have taken Professor Crane. Yeah. And I just said, yeah, because I have no commentary. Big surprise! Alright. Let's go. And that question mark is Mount Battle. Of course. As if you didn't already know that. Yeah, looks like a good camera angle. Hey! It's the redhead! It's the redhead stepchild. Well, well. Didn't we meet at Cadenport? Have you come to train? This is an excellent place for people to train. I've trained here myself. Back then, I only sought to become more powerful. I didn't need any other reason. As a result, I attained this status. But now, I've taken to questioning my motive for gaining power. I wonder what I'm fighting for. I ponder if I am putting my Pokemon under cruel stress. That's why I urge you to look into yourself. Ask yourself why you want to become stronger before you take that path. Okay. And... I just want to get to this iron real fast, yeah! Crap, I need to come up with some commentary. Alright, uh, welcome to my bow, would you like to... Unfortunately, we're not going to go with the and I train you can see Vander, one of our leaders. Yeah, this just let it through, okay? Thank you. Ah, it's hot in here. God damn, bitch! Has anyone ever played this uh, new arcade game called uh, Fruit Ninja? It's actually pretty cool, I suggest you try it out, if you ever head to an arcade that has it. Bucciana and Ladybug. Alright, Bucciana, use, um, Poison Fang, and Lady Ladybug, use Psybeam. No commentary again. I just hope I don't go this entire video just talking about how I don't have any commentary. How does Chicken Conroy do it? Great! I gotta fly around here. That's nice. Maybe I should switch. Um, maybe that'll be better. Well, that looks like it did more. Grr! Can seagulls actually, like, growl? I mean, is it actually, like, physically possible for a seagull to growl? I had to turn off my fan so I had to turn off my fan so I wouldn't uh mess with the audio. You better no. it's, it's alright. Maybe I grew to level thirteen. I got like fifteen minutes on good for now. Why wow, I knew it. You weren't ready. Eh, screw you. Stop crying. Not the battle, it's not the end of the world. Let me just switch up my party a little bit. Does it need switch yep, need switching up. There we go. Alright, now we're good.
Take on area two. I'm really nervous. I wonder if I can make it as a trainer. So I hold the Pokeball in my right. What? That has nothing to do with Pokemon battling. I mean, how do you throw a Pokeball? What is he teaching you, dude? How do you throw a Pokeball does not affect how you battle. It doesn't. How is a bubble popping in your face supposed to hurt? Well, I guess it, I guess if it like pops in your eye and stuff just like gets into your eye, you know. But I mean, but that's only if you're doing like soap bubbles. If you're just doing like water bubbles with like no soap or anything around them, then how can it hurt? Um, return. Me like that. Don't don't just peck me. Yeah, how does that taste? You peck me, I bite you. you pe oh, poison! Yes. Um, if you do not know what poison is, I mean, what, I mean, what poison effect poison has on Pokemon, you utterly fail Pokemon. And you just quit. Uh, but. Knowing the difference between just poison and badly poisoned, I can't really blame you for not knowing that. Um, what it does, uh, what badly poison does is, is, uh, is so I've heard, uh, that, um, your Pokemon will faint in, in four turns. That is, if it were to survive that long. No matter what. No way that, either that or it just gets progressively worse. For fights, let's see, let's get rid of Howl. And... Pajama and Bite! Bear still in grow up level. Wow, you're making me lose confidence! What? <laughs> if you didn't want to, if you didn't want to hurt your confidence, then maybe you should raise your Pokemon to a level higher than, oh, I don't know, 10! And here's Vander. Crap, I wanted to... I wanted to put Vaporeon on it, um, in the front of the team before I went into this fight, but... Oh well. So Vander will talk to us as soon as we beat this guy. Wolf we'll Trainer Bardo sent out Doduo, and... Boink! And I believe Spoink is a ground and psychic type, at least I think he is. So I'm going to use Bite on him. And I'm going to back it up with Return. Or did I just lick? I don't remember anymore. I 
I know it's possible for like geese to growl because um I go to an online school and uh and and, and we just go to like a hotel or something like do our um um our uh, um our ACTs. And and as I was walking through the parking lot, this dude just like randomly growled at me and it like really freaked me out. I just like said bye my dad in fear, you know. <laughs> but I'm not sure if it's possible for any other species of bird to growl. I, I don't, I'm not sure if that's true. Well, actually, now that I think about it, that goose didn't really uh, growl at me. It actually just hissed at me, but still. It was still scary. Nonetheless. And you probably heard my mom. Just talking there. Furious wipes. Yeah, there's probably a move we can get rid of. Uh, I've never used refresh before. Never used it, and you'll find yourself using it not really that often in this game. So I'm getting rid of it for furious wipes. Not on here. Well. Uh, that is it for this part. In the next part, we're going to uh, talk to Vander. Alright, see you guys then. We got $300 for winning.